Colchester, famous since Roman days for soldiers on its streets and oysters on its tables. Picturesque, full of quiet charm and dignity, but not an over-lively town in normal times. But these aren't normal times. Colchester is in the throes of an excitement which even agitates the feet. Yes, you've guessed it, cup tie fever. But it's more than that, it's achievement. Achievement spelled out in a score of ways in the shop windows and reflected in the faces of the passers-by. England still loves the story of the giant killer and every day brings signs of this from other towns. Odd messages in packages, tributes of admiration to the little men who have triumphed over big ones. Men like Len Cater here, footballer in spare time, a gas fitter by trade, in a team largely made up of spare timers like himself who work on market gardens or in factories. Here's right back Albert Kettle at his bench as an electrical machinist. They train, of course, on oysters, seasoned with sage advice from Ted Fenton, their manager and centre-half. On league promotion prospects, in answer to a question by Bob Curry, Ted says... After the result of our recent cup wins, I think, Bob, they're pretty good. Oh, oh lovely. Lovely. Well, okay. These are the stuff. Right okay, right. Here we are, boy. These are the stuff. Okay. <laughs> Love it. In the town, at the Cups, for example, hopes are expressed in far more certain terms. The lounge speaks blatantly about it through a jersey-wearing till. The 4 ale bar just yells it at you. To victory! And there's the boots to do it. Did you say how? Oh, blimey, come here, Joe, he needs a diagram. The question's the same wherever you go. In the saloon, Bill Allen, Colchester's club chairman, gets at the mayor for his more cautious views. Well, uh, you've had a wonderful run in the uh, uh, cup matches and put Colchester right on top of the football world. But our four ale experts have no use for caution. They know. And there's the Fenton plan. 